Hi guys, it's Bright and welcome back to my channel. Today we are back on Heartwood SMP and as you can tell, I decorated my house. So with this being said, I'm going to give you another tour of what it looks like and again, I need to build one more tree just for something that I have in mind. Decorating my house did take me a few days, so it is a couple days later, so there is more on the server. So with all that being said, let's jump right into the episode. So I don't know why, but every time I first record, I never do a test recording. So again, it was glitchy again, but that's just because of something that I had on my computer. I have now changed that, so it's not as glitchy, but now we can get into the new house tour and things that I need to show you. So when we first enter my house now, I have my inventory chest, which is where I put all of the goodies that I have in my inventory into this chest so that when I go into creative, I don't lose any of my things because that is always something that I'm scared about and terrified about doing. I also added the seating bench just because it looks super cute and super pretty and I just wanted something to have there because it looked a little bare. Then we have this nice little seating room right off the bedroom like I said I was gonna do. Um, we have a nice little grandfather clock with some carpet and an orange couch. Then we have my bedroom which is something very simple. I have this bed instead of the overhanging bed because of the way that my house is laid. I can't do that because of the torches but we added this nice little Japanese light with a nightstand. We haven't yet got anything for enchanting, however, I do plan to do that soon, so this room will start to look complete soonish, maybe. Then we have a crafting table with some furnace and our the rest of our chests that I have, you know, my ores, and then I have something that I want to do for my shop. Then we have the stuff for my backpack, our inventory pets, and we have our food. For the inventory pets, I have the pet squid, and then I have the crafting table one, and I have the blaze one. So we're doing pretty good for our pets, and I've already started kind of something for the backpack. Then when we come across this bridge, we have the rest of our chests. So we have the miscellaneous stuff, our blocks that we're going to be using, and another seating room with the cute little light again. And we have our mm, most of like the main foods that we're gonna be eating but I don't know yet I kind of need to figure that out but that's just how I'm organizing it for now and something that the main part of what I need to show you in this episode is just right over here so I need to build a pathway from my house to the bridge that Maddie built over here which I'll be doing that soon but this is the main part in this episode we have a big windmill with our crops and our barn. Can we take a moment and see all of this beauty? Walking down the path, we have some benches with some gorgeous flowers. This is our wheat area where we're gonna be growing all of our wheat. And then right across from it, we have our carrots and our potatoes. And along this way, we have the Pam's fruit. And right down here, we have the Pam's vegetables and then just down from the carrots and the potatoes we have our pumpkins and our melons if you look on the map it kind of looks like either a face or a dog or a paw print I don't know how we ended up doing that but we did then when you um, walk up the path again you have one of the main parts to at least my house you have the barn which has our cows and our sheep we are missing the chickens the pigs and our horses but that's fine we'll get them eventually but I'm gonna breed the cows because I need leather and I need wool so we might as well do the sheep as well we're gonna shove the rest of this food in there so there's nothing in the windmill right now but I'm thinking that once um, I carve it out I think we should have this as our little food inventory just to make it some sort of a useful thing instead of it just being a big skyscraper in the middle of our area. I think in this episode we will be going mining. I have my backpack on which 
in the crazy leggy episode, I made the chest backpack. So we have one of the backpacks made, and we just have the rest to make, which is quite a few. But we can minus this one off. I guess it's one less. <sighs> Why did I decide to do that? <laughs> but let's go take a quick nap, and then we'll go mining. All right, so we took a quick nap. I have some iron in my backpack with some sticks and some torches and some wood. And we're going to head down into our mine. We found a cave. A big cave, but a cave. We got some coal, some iron, ooh, some lapis. Someone has already been down here. But we got some more of this crystal ore, which is going to be useful for me. I don't know what to do with this amber ore, but we might as well grab it. All right. And we found some salt, so let's grab that too. We can make some food with that. Place down some torches as we go. All right. Maybe we can find some diamonds and maybe we can get our enchant table going. That would be cool, wouldn't it? We're going to go in our backpack and grab some of that food that we put in there. Found some more of this crystal ore. We found some gold. That's super. We found a mine shaft. Okay, this is cool now. This is cool. We found a mine shaft. Before we go in the mine shaft, though, I'm going to collect this gold. And I think we're going to make ourselves a sword just before those chest attacking things come. I don't want to die to those. That'd be so sad if I died to those chest things. All right, so we're going to go explore this. I'm going to make one more pickaxe just so I know that if our pickaxe dies, we have another one in our backpack. Okay, and into the mine shaft. We go, I think I already explored this, but I don't know how far we explored it. Yes, we have already explored it, so we can get the heck out of here because it's kind of scary. But if we go down here, I don't think we went down here yet. I need that. Ooh, what's down there? Level 17. We're getting close. Finding some more salt. So that makes food for us. That has been explored. And we still have some more over here that we haven't exactly explored at all. And there is a creeper over there. Okay. Let's grab this lapis. Oh, there's lots that I didn't explore. And that is a skeleton over there. We're on level 18, so we do need to go a little lower to find any sort of diamonds. Well, there's a staircase down here, and I think that goes up to the top. So we'll just start from here. Well, that's redstone, so that's a good sign. Ooh, we have some gold over here. Just two pieces? That's such a ripoff. We need some more iron, so... We'll start smelting that. We found another mine shaft. So we can find mine shafts, but we can't find diamonds. I don't understand that. Okay, so where did we see the mine shaft? Up here. Okay. Ooh, that's a that's a cave spider. He's a poisonous little guy. <gasps> we found a chest. And there is nothing that good in it. There's killer chests over here. I can hear them. I can hear him, I can hear him, I can hear- yes, there it is. Okay, this guy, I don't like this guy. Yeah, that's- I don't like that guy. Well, if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I promise you by the next episode we will have a few diamonds. Hopefully we're gonna cross our fingers. But if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!